morning, Twitch. Good morning, Twitch. Good morning, Twitch. Good morning on this 05.13.2022. Current time is 0540 a.m. Eastern Time. It's a Friday. Rich Roberts at Fireman Rich here on... Oh, my battery's low. <laughs> right here on t Twitch. My battery's low. It's, it's about half. I'll let, let it go. Leave it go. So we got a backup here. Uh, but good morning. Rich Roberts at Fireman Rich here on Twitch as well as over there on Twitter where I took myself as a social media observer, social media enthusiast. In other words, I like playing on this thing called the Internet. And uh, good to be here. And if you're watching this on the replay, thank you very much. It's greatly appreciated as far as that goes and uh, we're getting our day started it's friday it's friday the weekend is here we just got to get through the day the work day the day job and good morning tina and good morning chris and uh glad, glad to see that you're here and um we are for thank god it's friday as far as that goes and um i want to say uh it's good to be here um been up off and on <laughs> last night a lot of good fresh air yesterday as far as that goes uh and uh yeah happy friday the 13th that that it is i even changed my calendar I, i'm actually up on my calendar I, I i've got the uh the may calendar on the desk and um also we do have the morning coffee and i'm stirring the coffee i'm not stirring the proverbial other stuff did you? No, I didn't watch it. I'll watch that uh, tonight as far as it goes. Uh, last week's was, I didn't say anything about last week's. Last week was pretty riveting <laughs> as far as that goes. Um, uh, so, um, and then uh, I watched last week the big news, uh, uh, New Worlds is on also. That dropped uh, last night, I guess, too. So uh, that'll be something we'll be watching because I fin we finished up the card. Picard is uh, the season finale was last, so to catch up on our uh, our um, um, watching of uh, shows there on Netflix or in my case Paramount. Coffee's tasting outstanding, so um, I, I will be watching them uh, later, if not tomorrow, going in going into the weekend. And I don't really have it. Last week I had things planned. This weekend I, I have no. Well, actually, I do have something planned. Let me go ahead and uh, throw the, uh, I have this plan. This is where I'm going to be at tomorrow. I'm going to be at that location, hashtag I-C-T-E-D-U. And that's the uh, web page right there. So if you're watching this on the replay, um, I, um, I've been uh, sort of advertising it for uh, the folks that are going to be putting this on. Uh, I, don't, I don't have any skin in the game here, but I have been watching this um, it's usually right, right around May 14th for like the last uh, 10 years or so and and, and stuff like that. So uh, I, if you're not doing anything, just follow the hashtag. But the, the Twitter page is at I-C-T-U, I-C-T-E-D-U, okay? And um, uh, my good friend, at my very good friend, uh, Bernie Goldbach, at Top Gold, is, uh, um, will be... Pivotal in doing that. Plus Pam, uh, there's a, a lady named Pam that I've I've know I follow her on Twitter. I can't I can't pronounce what her Twitter handle is, but um, it's a bunch of educators getting together. We can all use a little education. I there's sometimes I don't understand um, uh, what they're uh, what the hell's going on there. Um, they talk about education. I don't have anything to do with education, but I like, uh, um, it, it's just some good, interesting stuff. And uh, you have a bunch of kids over there, and Bernie Goldbach's son, Dylan, will be uh, interviewing them as far as there's a group of kids. They wear the red t-shirts, identifies them, and they'll be doing interviews. Dylan is already doing interviews. I think he was going to interview me a few weeks ago, but he was watching his sister uh, doing the rowing bit, the crewing, as far as, I guess, um, um, they were doing pretty good as far as uh, winning their race and moving up to do another race. So uh, as far as that goes, hey Jeeves, good morning Jeeves, glad to see you here, Mr. Twix, 
doing the he's, he does the DJ thing. Let me go ahead and uh, give him a plug. But uh, um, this is the thing I'm plugging for today and stuff. I will. I I've been adding the hashtag ICT edu and then also at ict edu to uh the broadcasts i think wednesday and i did it yesterday on the anchor morning audio as far as that goes and uh thank you chris uh for gifting uh jeeves with a thing you're very generous let me catch up um what's the percent oh, i'll have to check yeah this mo this weekend that's what i was talking about yesterday in the uh anchor morning audio there's uh, i think it's called the the blood moon or something like that. The uh, um, I I talked about it in my anchor morning audio. There's going to be a lunar eclipse, a, a, not a solar, a lunar, which means the moon. Uh, it's going to be uh, uh, a, a, a. Let me see if I can bring up the uh, the information here. That uh, go ahead and go over it here this morning. But currently here in the southern tier of upstate New York, it's about 41, 40, well, about 40, that says 50. What did it say out there? Did it say 50? Okay, yeah, 52 degrees. <laughs> I misread the thing. It's about 52 degrees. 51, 52 degrees as far as that goes. Yeah, lunar eclipse. Yeah, okay, yeah, lunar eclipse. Um, we'll get with that here in a minute. Let's see, uh, partly cloudy skies. So that's the thing. I'm, I'm going into the weekend. I'm not going to be able to see the moon because we got, uh, projected rain, I guess. And, uh, let's see, partly cloudy skies during the morning, giving way to a few showers. High of 80. We were in the 80s yesterday. Winds out of the southeast, 5 to 10 miles an hour. Chance of rain, 30%. Sun will be rising this morning at 548. It's in another minute because it's 547. The sun will be rising. Yeah, we got some morning overcast and stuff like that. Sun, that's 5.48 a.m. It will be rising and 8.17 p.m. that it will be setting tonight. And uh, the moon is 88% uh, visible, waxing Gibson. And it's set, at, set this morning at 4.29 and stuff. I did see it last night when I woke up uh, a couple times. But uh, we do have a, a lunar eclipse, not a solar eclipse. The solar eclipse is with the sun. This is with the moon. So, uh, um, and let's see, uh, 87 or 61 there out in Deming, New Mexico with 87 of the high. Very good, Chris. Thank you. Chris technician there giving us the weather out there. Um, what the hell is that? Oh, I'm just going to go over it here real quick. Um, because those people, I think it's mostly the Northeast and South America. It's a total lunar eclipse as far as that's concerned a total lunar eclipse eclipse is um coming this week no actually it's sad it's sunday going into monday okay so uh the the total lunar eclipse is uh on the um sunday which is the um 15th yeah the 15th going into the 16th and it's called the the moon is called the F flower blood moon the flower blood moon Okay, so, um, and uh, people over in Europe and other parts of the world, they'll see a partial eclipse, but they'll see the different colors. They'll see more of the colors, I think, than we will, as far as seeing it. But um, it, uh, I, I did this yesterday, I, I talked about this yesterday in my uh, Anchor Morning Audio, and um, a lunar eclipse occurs when the full moon slips into the Earth's shadow, and those watching from South America and the Eastern side of north america are in for quite a show it's going to be a total eclipse um as far as that goes and um but uh if you're an eclipse hunter living in north america west or in africa or europe you'll also get the experience of real beauty in the shape of not a total eclipse but uh uh, a partial eclipse. So where you're at, Chris, you're out there in the American West, you're going to see a partial eclipse. You won't see a total eclipse. But you'll see the different colors. The colors will be really good. That's what they're talking about. And we don't have to worry because there'll be another one November 7th and 8th uh, of this year. Okay, so that's what I talked about yesterday in the Anchor Morning Audio, which um, I get excited. So I'm not sure. Um, let's see, what's the 10-day forecast? Let me see what this is going to go at. Um, 
Oh, I, did, I, did I say I have the morning coffee? Yes, I, I think I did. I got the morning coffee with the half a teaspoon of cocoa that I'm enjoying very much as far as that goes. Yes, blood moon. Flower blood moon, Chris. Flower blood moon. That's what it's named. It's not just a blood moon. It's the flower blood moon as far as that goes. That's what I'm seeing as far as the official name there. Um, uh, let's see. Eclipse. Good morning, Sam. I heard uh, it's going to start around 10 p.m. I'm not sure what time it's going to start uh, as, as far as that goes. It's in the evening time. Uh, you gotta, you got to figure whatever. You know, I'm not sure if you're talking 10 p.m. your time or 10 p.m. our time and stuff like that. That uh, I don't know. Did I get a time on that? Let's see. They don't really give it. Oh, if you want the times, that's what it is. If you want the times to get the per precise time for the Eclipse Spectacular, where you are at, where you guys are at, go to timeanddate.com. Timeanddate.com. I don't have the times. You just have to go there for the time. The exact time for your location. So I didn't check that out. So the 10 day forecast. Am I going to be able to see this sucker? Yeah, see, Sunday going into Monday, we've got rain. Unless it's after, unless the, the clouds clear out. So we're, we're going to have some rain this weekend starting um, tomorrow. We got thunder, yeah, we got thunderstorms forecasted for Sunday and Monday here. So I, I it's, it's, I'm going to miss out. You know, I was thinking maybe getting this baby out here, the telescope, but uh, that's not going to happen. So um, um, I heard it's going to be starting around 10 p.m. Okay, like I said, I, I don't know what time it's going to start, but that's where you can get the times right there. Uh, let's go to our our um, our uh, thought for the day. Our thought for the day is brought to you by nobody. Actually, this is something I do on the morning broadcast. It's a uh, something to think about. A thought for the day, as far as that goes. And um, um, let's see. Move that over. Can I see that? Yeah, see? I, I'm, I'm monitoring you. This this is my tablet right here. I'm monitoring it. And I got the phone over here. So I got both sides covered as far as comments. <laughs> um, our thought for the day is um, from Teddy Roosevelt, who's a, um, a, a former president of the United States. Teddy, and he was a New York uh, state governor, too, back in the day. And... Um, Actually, I forget, he was a vice president and he became president because uh, the president he was vice president for was uh, uh, passed away. I don't know if he was assassinated, though. I can't, I, I can't remember that. Um, but I know Teddy Roosevelt, it was part of the Rough Riders. Thank you, Jeeves. And um, what our thought for the day is uh, from Teddy Roosevelt and goes as follows. No man, I don't slip there. Bring it back. Come on. No man is worth his salt who is not ready at all times to risk his body, to risk his well-being, to risk his life in a great cause. Would we risk our life and limb, in a manner of speaking, for a great cause? Oop. Something to think about. Um, I think uh, when I was in a... Um, in the United States Air Force as an Air Force uh, um, crash, uh, Air Force uh, firefighter, aircraft rescue firefighting that I did, um, there's times I was at risk. Um, I think we all are at risk in, in some, some times, um, but for a great cause. The great cause when I was an aircraft, uh, um uh, aircraft rescue firefighter a firefighter there or any firefighter for that fact uh even uh chris's dad um you weigh those uh, those risks and if it's going to save a life um uh, is it worse worse is it worth your own risk to lose to save i don't know you don't know until you you're in those shoes you know, you could speculate, you could say it, but you, you don't know because there's so many circumstances and stuff like that. 
No man is worth his salt who is not ready at all times to risk his body, to risk his well-being, to risk his life in a great cause. Theodore Roosevelt. There's a series, um, uh, Band of Brothers, and then there's the uh, version um, uh, Pacific War, the Band of Brothers for the Pacific War. And I watched that, I think it was a year ago, maybe a year and a half ago. That's real life stuff. Um, some people say that's television. No, they're, they're presenting it real life stuff of men and women during World War II that risked their lives for a greater cause. At first, they probably didn't realize that. That's my take on it. But uh, um, if you watch the Pacific, uh, for the, the Marines that uh, island hopped to end World War II, they risked a lot. Um, so it's, um, it's something that, you know, this is a very in your face, uh, type of, uh, thought, you know, because it's like, would you risk? Oh yeah, I would. No, really, seriously. It's hard to say. It's hard. It, you know, I could say, yeah, I'm, I, I'm, I'm, I'm a strong guy. I can do it. No, because under the, the most intense, circumstances an individual can crumble crumble like dust and uh, or else can be solid as a rock and take action that needs to be taken so uh, very powerful words there very very powerful words that I can relate firsthand because um, I've had a couple of sticky situations I'll call it sticky was it risk of my life? Yeah, but it was the odds were like, okay. Um, it, at worst, I probably would be uh, um, injured or something like that. And and that's also the courses, uh, the path we travel in this life. That uh, if I would have took this path, I can look back. And it's always good to look back. I don't regret the path I took. I should never regret. Um, but I look, and if I took... Uh, uh, let's say a left turn instead of the right turn right at the point uh, before meeting the missus, I wouldn't be here today. I could equivalently say that if I, um, a particular job change that I was looking at, and I almost did when I was in the United States Air Force, um, it would have brought me um, up close and personal um, during some conflicts at the tail end of my, my career. I probably wouldn't have been married if I did. So, um, um, but that was a choice. I said, yeah, I know what the, ch the, the risks are and stuff like that, but uh, um, the risks of, uh, at that particular time, uh, weighed out in my thought, but I didn't take that. I went to, I, I kept the path I was going and stuff like that. Um, the, the left-hand turn, if I would, it would have been noble looking back on it, but the thing is, I probably wouldn't have been here today talking to you all. So it, it's one of those things that uh, um, uh, it, it just, uh, um, I, I just know uh, from my past experiences, so I don't know what your experiences are and stuff like that, but we all take risks. We just take a risk getting a car now, driving down to the local grocery store and stuff, so as far as that goes, so... Um, let's go ahead and uh, transition right out of this, the thought for the day, into the dinner report, Chris. Chris Technician, the dinner report, as far as that goes. Because um, uh, I, I was running a little, like, what, 10 minutes late? So we're going to get to the dinner report, and I'm going to have to wrap this up. It'll be a, let's see, we've been on for about 20, 20 minutes. So we'll wrap it up with the dinner report. I didn't really have a, um, a good news article other than telling you about the one I talked about yesterday in the Anchor Morning Audio. And I checked the website, and it said the eclipse will be 8 p.m. my time, and the moon will be red. Around. Okay, and it'll be different colors, they said. So it's, it's, it's going to go from a pink to a... It is, it's not just going to be total... So if you can get some snapshots, you got you got a good camera there, Chris. I remember you took take some shots on the moon there. Get some shots. Post them up on your Twitter there and stuff. So, I can, so I'll have something to retweet. Let's see, for the dinner report, it's a Chris Technician uh, 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 production there, or pr a presentation there that we do here on um, the, uh, the broadcast here, the coffee, the Friday morning, uh, morning coffee Twitch broadcast. 
and uh, the dinner report Chris does over there on uh, our good friend uh, Randy W. Horton. So I, and I didn't catch it. I I caught the tie. I think he's out roaming around somewhere. I don't know if he's feeding the uh, the camels or whatever, but. Chris does the dinner report over there as well. So let's go ahead. Uh, Tina comes in with burritos. Rushed. Burritos rushed. Whatever that is. And dinner. Okay. And um, or I can stream it live. Well, you could do that. Yeah. There's nothing to say you can't do that. You're going to, you know, you're going to have the clear skies. I'm not. <laughs> so um, that would be good. But take some, take some snapshots. What did you have for dinner, Chris? Let's do the dinner report. The dinner report. Tina already said what she had for dinner. Jeeves, if you want to chime in here on the dinner report. And those people that are watching the replay, we do this on every broadcast. Uh, the morning broadcast, the dinner report. It's part of the show as far as the meet and greet. Have some coffee here. Give you a little chit chat here and give you a thought for the day. Tell you a little bit about the weather and then we'll tell you what we had for dinner last night. And um, burritos rush. I'm, tr I'm still trying to... Figure out what burritos rush. Do I need to Google that, Tina? And um, we have usually, and, and the people watching this on the replay, this will be posted over on YouTube. Uh, that uh, and actually, I got to start using Rumble. I got to start using Rumble as far as that goes. Upload it. Let's see. Chris comes in with he had a chicken sandwiches, chicken sandwiches with barbecue sauce, and for dessert he had uh, a banana milkshake. Okay, there's a change. Let's see, Rush Burritos. What's Rush Burritos? Rush Bur. I spell burritos. Oh, okay. Oh, Chris, I'm sorry. <laughs> you are, I'm looking back on the. You already said it. You said it before Tina's there. Rush. Burritos Rush. What's Burritos Rush? Let's see. Burritos. B U R R I T O S. You're making me Google this, Tito. What is that? What is Burritos Rush? Oh, they're grilled? Rush doesn't say. Okay, just a different form of uh, uh, type of burrito, I guess. Read, Rich. Read, damn. I had a rush. I had to. Oh, you had to. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> See, we have fun out here. They, I'm just, I'm over here, and they're they're they're. The, the the chat is getting me uh, going here. It's uh, oh you rushed my dinner, so just had burritos. Okay, gotcha. I thought there was a special way of making burritos. Yeah. Read uh, exactly, Chris, because you have a double double comment there on yours. What I had for dinner, what the missus made. I got a, a text yesterday when I was at the day job, and I go woohoo. She goes, uh, um, we had. Uh, she said, not only are we going to have potato salad from Ted Clark's but we had speedy so we had speedy sandwiches last night and what it is is cubed uh, um, how do you say that it's cubed meat right yeah. yeah it's cubed meat the missus is up now um, that uh, is marinated and these were beef you have beef chicken and lamb and uh, they were good last night they were they were delicious that huh Oh, beef, chicken, and pork. I've had lamb before. Yeah, I think lamb. Uh, they, you can have lamb. It, it, it's it's a uh, marinated meat. It's cubed, and then you you, um, you either you cook it up on the stove, or else it, it's best to have them uh, grilled. It's grilled, and it, it is good. And the smell is just just fabulous. So there we have the dinner report. Uh, um, and me getting my head out of my butthole there, as far as for thinking there's a different way of making burritos. <laughs> All right, folks, um, where are we at? We're at 27 minutes, so we're close enough to the 30. We're at the top of the hour. Again, I want to, um, tomorrow, this is tomorrow morning, 
I may be on, I'm, I'm going to probably be doing a radio show on Mixcloud.com, uh, uh, forward slash Rich Roberts. Um, I, I've got a list of songs here that uh, if I get home and I get my head out, you know, get get going, I got a list of songs right here that I will present that uh, I think a few of the songs I, I played over there on vocal this, this past week, so... Um, as far as that goes. So let's go ahead and uh, support these guys at ICTEDU as far as that goes. Uh, have a great Friday the 13th uh, from Chris. You too, Chris. Uh, Tina, you, uh, ciao to you as well. And Tina saying bye to all. And uh, and as always, Chris is coming in with the uh, bazanga as far as that goes. So let me see. What, what am I doing here? Let's see. Or I'll just turn that down. So... Uh, there we have it, okay? I-C-T-E-D-U I-C-T-E-D-U dot com Check them out. And uh, Chris coming in, as always, Bazanga and Twix. Jeeves, he's saying bye. Check out Jeeves. He does the DJ bit here on uh, Twitch. All right, folks? <laughs> oh, short, sweet, and fun. All right, folks, this is Rich Roberts at Fireman Rich uh, wishing you all a great start to your Friday as far as that goes. And uh, we'll be back. We're, we're, we made it to the weekend, folks. Yay! All right, folks, you all have a great one wherever you may be on this big blue marble. Live life, have fun. Ciao for now. As always, peace, take care, and thanks a lot, guys. Appreciate it. You are the best. <laughs>